There is an eye-opening must-read column in the New York Times this week by Guantanamo prison inmate Samer Naji Al-Hassan Makbel, who spent 11 years and three months at the detention center. Now, he hasn't been charged with any crime and he hasn't seen a trial in his over 11 years there, but his story is that he went to Afghanistan to seek a better job after he was only making $50 at home in Yemen. But once he arrived there, the Americans invaded and he fled like many others to Pakistan. He went to the Yemen embassy in Pakistan, but was then arrested, immediately flown to Kandahar, and then flown to Guantanamo Bay, where he's remained ever since. He and 40 others there are on hunger strike to protest their conditions, but they're being violently force-fed to be kept alive every single day. This story highlights one of the biggest disappointments of Barack Obama's time in office. He campaigned to close the detention center when he was a candidate for office, and as soon as he became president, he issued an executive order to close down the facility, but he's run into severe headwinds from congressmen who refused to allow the transfer of Guantanamo Bay detainees to their home districts. And unfortunately, a poll shows that 70% of Americans agree with the decision to keep the prison open, including a surprising 53% of self-identifying liberal Democrats, according to a poll by the Washington Post. So that's our two-part poll of the day. Should the military detention center at Guantanamo Bay be closed by transferring the prisoners to facilities in the United States? And two, Will Guantanamo Bay be closed by the end of Barack Obama's second term in office?